Hi there, so we have this Yamaha U1 in stock, stock which you wanted to see. Here's the piano. Uh, currently doesn't have a bench, but we can give you another black bench with it. So the piano is in good condition. Minor surface scratches really across some, some sections. You can't really see or most of it, but it's a minor scratching. Nothing major, no major damage, no gouges or, or crack. The top has had some minor scratches on it like that. Don't know if that comes out in the shop, but there's some surface scratches there. The sides are good. This is a little bit of damage here on the side, left-hand side. Uh, a little bit of damage here on the polyester. Apart from that, it's in good shape. Some light scratches, as I mentioned. Music desk is about three, three pages wide, three pieces of paper, music, and um, a rich sound. It's a brighter sound, it's got a bright sound to it, but very, very pleasant. piano good action Yamaha's got great action to it um, very reliable made in Japan in 1976 and it has the soft pedal which all uprights have the soft pedal if in case you're curious the middle pedal is the celeste rail which is this piece of felt that goes down here in front of the keys which makes a nice it's good for practicing but some people like to use it for like videos and things or just for relaxation, but it's actually designed for practice originally. You can use it for both. You can use it for scales or just for playing quietly. If you don't want to disturb someone in the house. It's useful for just playing quietly and also softer, it's a lot softer. The action is in good condition. The piano was hardly used. One of the things that we always look at for the wear of the piano is the shape of the hammer. If you have a lot of indentation, it means that the hammer's been striking the strings a lot. In this case, and it's been played a lot. In this case, indentation is very, very mild, uh, hardly visible. And um, it's basically just not being played really that much. All the felts are in good condition. Um, there's no wear there, nothing's breaking or fraying. Um, the action has been regulated, we've done the regulation. So one thing we do is to check the height of the keys, which we didn't change in this case, they were fine. We checked, uh, we do let off on it. So the let off is the distance that the hammer goes to the string before it comes back again, which if you can get it close, not too close, that causes trouble but just close enough that it's almost kissing, you can get really good soft playing. So basically. Basically what it does is that it allows you to get the hammer close to the string and play with less, um, with less momentum in the hammer. Because I can get real close, I can get real close to the string. The other thing that we've done is the back checks so that when you play a, a note, this, the hammer stays close to the string as possible without it hitting the string again, obviously, but it stays close so you can repeat the note again. It's got a good tone. One of the things I like about Yamaha is they always have like a balanced sound. They're never really, they're never murky. They're never overly overwhelmingly bright. And none of the keys in the different sections sound too weak or too strong. So what I mean by that is that a lot of times you get, a, a lot of times you get a very weak treble on a piano. In this case you don't. And also you get sections on a badly made piano or not so well made piano, you get like a really soft section and a really hard section 
or you get one section that's got a lot of life in the sound and sounds really vibrant and then you get one section that doesn't whereas the Yamaha U1s this model tends to be very balanced so the whole piano is just very similar sound and it has resonance in every section of the piano so really nice resonance and we can soften the hammers if you want us to to make it softer and if you go in the bass it's still resonant resonant has a good design of the soundboard and the frame and everything it's well designed i've been playing a lot it's a little bit of an easter egg but i've been playing a lot with the soft pedal uh, da down so the hammer is closer to the string uh, personally because i've just found it more enjoyable lately to sing to sing with but i'm not going to sing right now don't worry just makes it a bit softer so the piano is in great shape there's no rust in the strings so it's, a U1 is typically available in studios and in practice rooms and in, in, in colleges and things. Really good pianos, we're highly recommended. And uh, you can come and see it here, Robert's Pianos Houston. Uh, it's available for sale. Mm -hmm.